Planet Dolan. From underground Mayan megaplexes to cocoons full of corpses, we count 10 unexpected things found in caves. Hey everyone, my name is Melissa. I'm here to caress your brain cells with weird facts from all over the world. Number 10. Mayan Underwater Caves In 2008, a mind-boggling labyrinth of underground stone pyramids and temples was discovered in Mexico. The most perplexing part is that some of these tunnels are immersed entirely in water. Some people believe the cave system was built by the ancient Mayans as an homage to the belief that when you die, you have to follow a dog with night vision through a treacherous, water-filled journey and face dangerous challenges before you can properly rest in peace. Despite believing that they could literally build portals to other worlds and realms, the Mayans were incredibly resourceful people. Number 9. Romania Poison Cave After 500 million years of being completely sealed, some local communist land survivors accidentally opened a gigantic, toxic poison cave. The sealed-up cave in southeast Romania has been untouched for 5.5 million years and apparently stinks of rotten eggs and poisonous gases. The lethal atmosphere has not stopped many species of spiders, scorpions, and centipedes from thriving, though. The cave is so dangerous that less than 100 people have dared to enter it. The only form of nourishment in this cave is a floating film consisting of bacteria that the visionless inhabitants devour to stay alive. Number 8 giant lemurs. A very surprising discovery of animal remains was made in an underwater cave in Madagascar. Exploratory divers found a bed of bones belonging to an extinct race of giant lemurs lodged in an underwater reservoir. Some of these long-lost lemurs were as big as gorillas, and scientists don't really know how their bodies got into the cave. They suspect that their bones washed up over time, as there is no sign of predatorial bite marks. Madagascar is known for its uniquely untouched species of animals, and among the bones were the remains of another extinct animal, the elephant bird. Number 7. Obelisk In remote Egypt, a gigantic discovery was made in the depths of an unfinished quarry. An enormous obelisk that lies on its side was never quite completed by Egyptians because of the cracks that appeared in the structure. If it had been finished, the giant obelisk would have been the biggest ever made at 42 meters tall and weighed over 1,100 tons. Scientists think they plan to transport it by floating it down a waterway to a distant town. Ancient Egyptians were very crafty people, and their stone carving skills can be seen in the meticulously designed abandoned monument. Number 6. Giant Pit I don't understand why anyone would actively explore treacherous caves for a living, but imagine stumbling across a cave with an almost bottomless pit. Ellison's Cave in northwest Georgia is the 12th deepest cave in America, dropping a whopping 586 feet to the ground. That means if you're scared of heights and vomit from the top, it would take a whole 8 seconds for your spew to hit the bottom. Once you traverse the 12 miles of underground tunnels, spelunkers can rappel down the pit if they so wish. Number 5. Screaming Mummies The last thing you'd want to find in a cave is a screaming corpse, but here we are. Originally, it was thought that these dead humans were immortalized in the moment they were murdered to death. It was later discovered that most of these dead cave dwellers were not screaming when they died, but actually, their jaws fell open over time. Well, we don't know for sure if they weren't screaming. Some of them don't exactly look like they were having a great time. Number 4. Glowworms One of the most incredible caves you will ever see is filled entirely with millions of shimmering glowworms. The caves in Waitomo, New Zealand, formed over 30 million years ago, and today you can hire canoes to marvel at the sparkling worms as they light up the tunnels with their bioluminescent bodies. The glowworm grotto looks like a galaxy of living critters hanging delicately from threads of silk. Absolutely stunning. Would it be bad if I ate them all? Number 3. Chemical Warfare In 250 AD, some underground shenanigans left 19 Roman soldiers dead in their tracks while defending their captured city from Persians. 20 corpses were discovered in an ancient tunnel in Syria, with a pretty fascinating story. Scientists found the soldiers fleeing from a single lone Persian. Apparently, the Persians sabotaged the soldiers from joining a tunnel and pumped choking gas towards the Romans, which turned into a sulfuric acid in their lungs, killing them instantly. However, the Persian didn't escape in time and died horrifically too. This unexpected find was the first ever documented case of chemical warfare. Number 2. Skull Cups 
The last place you would expect to find ancient remains of a cannibal culture is the friendly countryside of blimey old England. Long before Cheddar Gorge was famous for its delicious cheese, early modern humans were violently butchering and eating each other. Deep in the caverns of Goh's Cave, archaeologists found skulls that were carefully carved into crockery for the purpose of serving wine blood and probably tea. Taking the flesh off a human skull required incredible finesse and delicate tools. These British cannibals were very classy. Number 1. Cabayan Fire Mummies At the start of the 20th century, Spanish lodgers were pretty surprised to come across man-made caves full of mummified cocoons. Apparently, 1500 years ago, some local Filipinos were developing the area and came across what looked like giant walnuts with dead people inside. The mummies had been burnt in a specialized mummification process involving the lungs being filled with tobacco smoke and their bodies toasted over flames. Blech. The lack of protection of these ancient remains left them vulnerable to theft and many of the tombs have been damaged by graffiti. On a lighter note, how cool are those glowing worms? Bioluminescence emitted from a living creature. That is just awesome. That's all for now, guys. I'll catch you next week. Its waters change color depending on the weather, time of year, and the current water level. You might be thinking, this cave's pretty damn cool. I might go visit it. Well, doing so involves a long flight to Koyaki City, a 320-kilometer drive, and a dangerous boat trip. Hey, I did say it was almost another world.